Hello, hello, and good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good time zone, and thanks for creating art with me. If you create any art with me today, feel free to share in the Discord. I hope all of you are having a wonderful day so far. Today we are going to make more progress on the squid. We're just going to touch it up today and maybe finish it today. I'm not sure. We'll see. We'll see where we're going. So thank you for being here. Alrighty, let's get started. to go alrighty so just a reminder um, this is not my drawing um, my boyfriend drew it and asked me to color it or paint it in any way and I'm not very experienced with watercolor but I do love it. It's very, very therapeutic. Um, so today I'm just going to try and smoothen out all the paint. That way we can get some shading going on. Let's see. Alrighty. And we use this purple right over here. Let's move this over here. Got it. Just want to make sure that that's the matching purple. And then I did use Sharpie. I didn't know that um, watercolor would make the Sharpie fade out. But I'm going to go over that last. For those of you that are stopping by um, my streams for the first time, um, I have loved arts and crafts for as long as I can remember. Art, art is life. Um, I do make a lot of different art, such as hemp jewelry, beanies, perlers. And then we're just trying to do some learning about watercolor and just relaxing. You know, the goal is to finish this today, but if we don't, that's okay. I'm trying to work on doing uh, longer strokes of paint. Let's see if we can spread that one out. And I think I'm going to leave the separate right there because there's two different shades, but that's going to dry. But that way it'll make it look a little bit different. I hope the lighting is okay. Let's 
me that may be a bit too much for that small area. Uh oh, we have an ad. Sorry specifically... about that. Hello, thank you for stopping by. We're making some progress on the squid painting. Hmm. I hope to do a stream one day where it's strictly um figuring out how the strokes of watercolor works and how i want to experiment with how much water i should add it's a learning process i think i'm gonna leave that one let's see maybe at least on this side so i'll add a little bit more There we go, and we'll, we'll add some and there we go, and we could come to life. I think we're gonna go over this one completely. That way there's some variety of shading. Because the amount of water you use does affect how dark the uh, paint turns out. Let's see, so we're gonna, we're gonna do this one completely, one dark one over here. And I may go over it in a, or my, my boyfriend, once I'm finished um, painting this, he's gonna add some, retouch up some detail with some line work since he drew this and gave me permission to paint it or color it in any way that I would like. It's fun to do that. Different perspective. And we're gonna try and go for the, the longer strokes. Longer paint strokes. There we go. Hi, Wendy! We're making some progress on the squid that we were working on yesterday. I'm um, practicing the strokes of the paintbrush and just learning and making some progress. I loved your art yesterday. Do we have another ad? Skip ad. But you did a great job on your art yesterday. I loved it. I hope you're having a peaceful day and taking it easy. You know, I have decided that for the background, um, I am going to use tissue paper. I want to give it a fun, a fun texturized feel. Empty some of this out. Let's 
So we already got that one in. I don't think we had this one. Oh, that's some dark purple. It will dry though. If we can try and you know, I have um, a new craft that I might share on Sunday. It's a fun little paper craft. Let's get this spot right over here. So many ads today. I apologize. And then we went over that one already. And we're trying. Let's try right here. I'm having a hard time with this little area right here, but we'll figure it out. We'll share a small close-up. You're welcome. I'm always happy to see you here and see your artwork as well. I hope to see more of your art. Oh no, it's okay. Take your time, be you, do you. Relax and do what you gotta do. I'm here to make the day a bit more easier. So we already used the dark purple over here and there's like this lavender color up here that I used for the head of the squid. So we're going to go ahead and touch up that area.
Okay. Doing the longer strokes are getting a bit easier for me. I think I'm just getting overwhelmed in this area, but step by step. Okay, I thought it was another ad. I was like, oh no! It is an ad! Skip ad! <laughs> Let's see. I have to go right there. Get that area right there. And I'm not going to touch the eye yet, because I think I'm going to give the eye detail attention um, very last since eyes are very special to me. We are almost one more week closer to Halloween. Uh, if you have not already heard on Halloween, I will be hosting a Plur package giveaway with uh, El Raver Jesus, I will link his channel. So the Plur Package giveaway that we are hosting, um, it will not be on my channel. It will be on my boyfriend's channel. But... But there will be two opportunities to learn some sign language regarding Halloween themed words. We will be doing it in the evening on El Raver Jesus' channel and on Halloween we will also be doing it at noon PST on my channel. So there's two different opportunities to learn some words regarding Halloween in American Sign Language. American Sign Language is my first language. Um, I am a child of deaf adults. And then just a friendly reminder that I am still accepting journals until tomorrow. 10 a.m. PST is the deadline. So this week's journal submission or journal, excuse me, journal prompt was about effort and awesome. So you can write it, you can email it to me, you can do it in an art form like the picture shown on the screen. And you're going to write about five things you would like to put more effort into and five things you're, you think that you are awesome at. That way this is advocating self-awareness. Self-awareness is very important for self-growth. On Sundays when I stream, um, they are called Self-Awareness Sundays, and I will be sharing these submissions on screen share, and we can interact and chat. You can send them anonymously if you would like. Here's the information to submit your journals. So on this upcoming Sunday, on October 11th, I will be sharing a new prompt after sharing the submissions. I'm really excited to see where this goes and how it grows. And I'll give you some time to read that. Go away ads! <laughs> Here we go. Give you a little bit more time. And I'll take a little sip of juice. And I have an Instagram as well. Right now there is a clear out sale on all beanies that are available on my Instagram. 
help me clear out some inventory so I can get crafty and make some new beanies for you. I love, love making art. So all this month, beanies will receive $2 off. I appreciate all the support. And I can't wait to craft and paint more. Thank, Thank you, you for, for being here. Alright, let's get back to our squid. There we go. And I think I'm going to outline these lines in Sharpie, actually. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my bag of Sharpie. And I have decided that I am going to put tissue paper to create the ocean. I really like texturized wow. art. Let's see if we have a dark blue Sharpie. There we go. So I think we're done painting the squid for now. I'm gonna, most of it is already dry. That's what's nice about watercolor. It dries pretty quick, but maybe after the blue Sharpie, um, I'm going to go over the squid for the line work again, since the paint had caused it to fade out. And on Sunday, I will also be working on the spider hemp necklace. Stringy Sundays and self-awareness Sundays. I love me some hemp and I love me some yarn. Here we go. I have never gotten this many ads using music before. I may have to learn something new so that doesn't keep happening. I'll have to ask Raver to draw me another picture that I that I can paint. Everyone has a a different um, art style, and you can you can learn from it and practice new styles to incorporate in your art. Okay, so I was going to go over that one.
how I feel too. I'm not really sure either. Um, I'll have to I'll have to research it. Um, Raver knows about it, so once he shares some information about it, um, we we will do some brainstorming together if you're up for it. We will have some brain blasts and we'll think of something. I had um, a lot of fun creating the the caramelized caramel caramel apple. I keep saying caramelized <laughs> the caramel apple. And having cardboard around for art projects always comes in handy. I was hoping, depending on what the upcoming prompts are, that I can try and um, make something out of Play-Doh. Kind of like sculpt something, but I don't think I'll be able to do that for Cryptid since I don't have much knowledge on that. Hi, I'm Thank you! And it was it was fun to go on a sunset adventure. It would be nice to do that again. I might have to try that again. Um depending on what the the prompt is. For cryptid I don't think I could dress up. Um I don't have any face paint. I know they were talking about um, possibly creepy pasta, but um, I don't. I'm not sure if a uh, creepy pasta is, or excuse me, I'm not sure if cryptid is similar to creepy pasta. See, today is Friday, and recently I um, turned in turned in an essay, and I'm so proud that I got one of my papers out of the way. I have to start working on another project soon for my early childhood education class. It's going to be a, a challenging project, but I got this. I may ask Raver if I can tear off this bit. He likes to use the binding though for this and I don't want to tear that off without asking. And then I'll probably have him go over his signature or leave it as is because he'll be adding in the, uh, it'll be interesting to see how he adds the detail over my painting. I'll ask him if he can do that on stream. So many ads today. Hmm. 
There we go. So we're gonna boop. Uh, it's funny because um, Raver likes his style since he uh, enjoys doing graffiti art. He likes to do very, um, I'm not, not jagged, um, I'm not sure, point, pointed? I don't know the right, right description, but for me, I like to, uh, I like to round my edges, but I'm trying to, uh, incorporate both. It's fun though, opposites. And when I use the uh, tissue paper for the background, I already have it cut in small squares. You'll still be able to see the Sharpie effect um, through the tissue paper, so that'll be that'll be interesting. Mm -hmm. Making sure I didn't miss any. Yeah, a little one right here. For a self care break, I'm gonna get some water and some snacks. Make sure you take care of yourself. You are important, you are worthy, and make sure you feed yourself. Hydrate. The ad. Skip ad. Munch, munch.
almost done. Thank you for your patience. Just a friendly reminder that I do have a YouTube channel. You can find my channel by typing in search engine, search engine and support with positivity. I post my flow videos there where you can learn some sign language there. And you can also see some of my um, ECB assignments there. Thank you for creating with me. Let's get back to creating art together. So this is what we have so far. The midi pack. Unbelievable. Insane midi pack. You want a beautiful melody? Why so many ads today? Maybe it was the song of choice. Hey, let's get back to it. So we need to do this area and this area. Let's see. Hmm. In this area, I'm trying not to fill it out entirely with Sharpie. I'm really trying to uh, leave some open area, open spaces in this area. Make it a little different. I'm excited to add the tissue paper in the background. I think it will be very fun and interesting. I love making art with um, cotton balls and hemp scraps. I love to recycle. Just a small bit right there. Oh, right there too. Just trying to make more circles, make it different. did an amazing job on the hand that you created. Hands and feet are very hard for me to draw. Very 
Maybe I need to do a stream where I'm just doodling hands, getting some practice in. Be a great idea. Okay, so this is what we have so far. I'm gonna I'm not gonna go over um Reaver's signature. I'm gonna let him do that. And we're gonna get the other Sharpies out and we're gonna go over the squid and see how that looks. purple and the fuchsia looking color. Here we go. I remember it still turned out really awesome. Um, sometimes I try to use references and for some reason I just end up getting confused. Thank you. I think it looks really interesting. It looks like there's a lot going on, but it's going to look really unique. Let's see. Do we want to do... Let's do the purple first. Experimented? Yeah, experimented. I tried saying experience and experimented at the same time. I've never really experimented with graffiti art. So, eh, I think there's actually been a few, very few times. go right over here let's go right here creating straight lines it's easier said than done <laughs> could use that. 
Let's get those suckers. I remember when I was in um, elementary school, I dissected a squid before. I will be right back. Gotta use the restroom. To the squid. We're adding our little our little suckers right over here. suckers and then let's get back to the purple touching up the purple again from new perspectives and self-awareness so I am aware that there are many different art styles and it's amazing to learn about them Let's get 
this right over here. And then look in there. Let's go right over here. kind of spacing out a bit thank you all for being here I'm going to go back and go over these ones I think we got most of that. We can go right there. And then we're going to go right over here okay, Ooh, that was a tricky one Gonna go over here. Oh, Sharpie fumes. Phew! <laughs> so much Sharpie. <laughs> I'm okay. The window is open. Okay, I think we got, I think we got all the purple. A lot going on. Creativity never sleeps. So I don't need to go over that one. That one already. Let's go over here a little bit.
Okay, I think we got everything right there. Yep. Making some progress. I am proud. Okay, we're gonna go right there. And then right over here. Oh man, when we add the tissue paper, there's just gonna be a ton going on in this piece of art. Okay, so we're going to take a little break from the Sharpies and we're going to share about ourselves. Okay, this is what we have so far. Squid. Um, Ray drew this and he gave me permission to color it in any way that I would like. And this is what we have so far. I think we're gonna work on the eye next maybe um, but right now I'm just taking a little breather from the sharpies <laughs> so let's set this down share share some things about our stream um, I am an artist that makes a lot of different jewelry and I also like to promote mental health and self-awareness um, reflection is really helpful with self-growth I am accepting journal submissions until tomorrow, 10 a.m. PST. Um, this week's journal prompt is about effort and things that you think you are awesome at. So for this journal prompt, you can write it on paper, take a picture of it, email it, send it to me, take a picture of it, or you can do it in an art form like the hands shown in the picture. Um, you will be sharing five things that you would like to put more effort into and five things that you think you're awesome at. Um, you do not have to attach your name to it if you would like to send it anonymously. Um, please let me know. If you would like to participate in that, here's the submission info. I stream on Sundays. Sundays are for self-awareness. And they are stringy Sundays mail. So here's the information.
for Self-Awareness Sundays if you would like to send in your journal. There is a deadline. The deadline is 10 a.m. PST tomorrow. Um, on October 11th, when I share the journal submissions, I will be also sharing the new journal prompt or craft prompt that day. It may flip-flop. I'm not quite sure yet. Still kind of experimenting with that. And then there is also a Halloween giveaway coming up that I am hosting with Raver on Raver's Twitch channel. And then I am an artist that makes hemp jewelry and beanies. This month on my Instagram, I am having an October beanie clear out sale. So all beanies purchased this month will receive $2 off. Your purchase helps me get an eye exam and a new pair of glasses. The donations link is in my about section. If you would like my Vimo because you do not have PayPal, free, feel free to let me know. I'm going to take a breather, sip of juice. Thank you for creating with me and being part of my stream. I really miss socializing and interacting, so I appreciate it. Let's see if we missed any spots. Hmm. I think we're ready to... Oh, nope. We missed one. <laughs> but that's why we were checking. And I think I'm actually going to go ahead and um, do some of the eye detail right now. I need to get more black pens. I need to get Copics. <laughs> someday, someday. Utilize what you have. Be grateful for what you have. Let's move this out of the way. Hmm. I may need a black Sharpie. I'm not sure yet. And then we're going to add the, the lines for the eyes. And I don't think we're going to do that part in Sharpie. That way the... The body pops more. to add the tissue paper background. We got our glue stick and our tissue paper. So we're gonna close up the paints. And let's move this forward. Center. This will be interesting. It's something, something that just felt right with this project.
Okay. Just a friendly reminder, if you are allergic to cats, please do not purchase from me. I all, and I mean that with love and care. So we have our, our lovely tissue paper right here, and we're going to glue that on top. It may seem weird, but it just felt right. And then like I shared, you'll still be able to see the sharpie through it. So that'll be a neat effect. Let's try not to rip the tissue paper. <laughs> It doesn't all have to face the same way. And we could trim off the edges when we are finished. Give it kind of like that stained glass. It'll be a fun effect. I'll make sure to take a picture so you can also see a photo up close. This one might hang off a little bit, but we'll trim it when we are all finished. Whoop! Sticky fingers! <laughs> okay. I love to uh, feel my art physically. And then we can also have little parts poking out as well, so it doesn't have to be perfect. Just have fun with it. And they can be all different colors, shapes, sizes. I think what I, let's see, let's try, I don't know, I don't want to do it that way, but I also don't want to rip the tissue paper. We'll keep trying our best. Whoop! Let's put that right there. doesn't have to align perfectly, I just don't want it to rip. And our tissue paper is so fragile. <laughs> and then if there are areas where 
it doesn't really uh, fit where the tentacles are, we can always cut up the tissue paper into smaller pieces. Let's flip this around. New perspective. And let's get a dark, dark green in there. Right here. And then we'll trim off the extra later. be here a while but it's okay I already did did my essay and now it's time to just have fun I hope everyone makes time for their hobbies today I wonder if there's an easier way to do this, but it's okay. Having fun, and that's all that matters. the uh, the rainbow fish book I always thought that that book was amazing I did a rainbow fish project with tissue paper as a child using different materials is um it's fun and it kind of opens up your eyes on what else can you make art with different mediums different materials Oops, Might have to put this one in a frame. <laughs> let's go right there. And let's get some some different angles now. So let's turn it this way.
Nope. Oh, we can put that cap over here. Tissue paper. Oh, oh, nope. That wasn't very smart. <laughs> Only one at a time. One at a time. I just got a little excited. <laughs> I'm so excited for crunchy leaves in fall. I love crunchy leaves, and I love bubble wrap. Got a ways to go. We're going to move this one facing up. And then I think we're going to put this one right here, maybe. I like to make very unique and fun art. doesn't cover it entirely. Let's get a light one. it up a bit. Oh, wait, we want to scoot that one up. I don't want to cover his signature. <laughs> looking so far. Maybe we'll turn it upside down and work over here for a little bit. different angles, different perspectives. It's all about being self-aware and learning about diversity. fingers sticky fingers <laughs> let's put this 
one right over here. If anyone decides to do some tissue paper art after viewing this, please feel free to tag me and you can share with me on my Discord or my Instagram. I have to wash my fingers soon. <laughs> it's looking very fun. I'm excited. We'll have to learn how to zoom in in the future. See that sharpie showing through the tissue paper. Nice little fun effect there. Mm -hmm. I was trying to get a white one. Sticky fingers. I love doing projects and crafts and art like this, but I do not like having sticky fingers, that's for sure. <laughs> it's looking like we're about halfway done. I really like this color right here. It's a beautiful color. My favorite color is yellow. Because it's like sunshine. <laughs> Yes. 
lipstick because I feel like that one's a too big of a, a gap. So I'm just gonna go right there. Hey, nope, stay. Sticky fingers. Sticky, sticky. Okay, let's turn it over. Okay, change of perspective. <sighs> I gotta use the restroom again. So right after I glue down this piece. We're going to be right back. And welcome back. Making progress, making progress. Excuse me. Mm. And I'm okay. I just feel very relaxed. This is very fun. A little tired, but we got it. Get some more white, clear, some more clear blue. Not the clear or the white, but the lighter blue. Because I can see that we have a lot over here, but not over there. sneeze. 
Excuse me. Oof. Get over here, tissue paper. This one can go off right there. Then we're gonna need a smaller piece right over here. We can do this one right over here. Yeah. Mm, I might not take this piece off. Nope, just gonna leave it there. That one ended up not sticking. Get over there. I did not say get over here. Ah, oh, I see. I had it backwards. I had it upside down. <laughs> Stay. fit right here so let's at least move it a different direction And I think I'm going to have enough tissue paper that I already cut out earlier, so that's awesome. Mm. 
push that up and then oh that piece is way too big pieces right now. There we go. Okay. Yeah, we're just going to cut off the edge of that one. Let's try this small piece right over here. Yep, that works. Almost there. And I think this craft will be it for today. Took a little bit longer than I thought, but I understand why. Hmm. Sticky fingers. Be nice, sticky fingers. There we go. That works. And then... That's the eye, so we don't want to cover that up. I might actually go over that in Sharpie. That way, it just... And I don't feel... I thought I would like it like that, but... I don't, but that's okay. We can always change it later. Whoop! It got stuck to the glue. gonna have to start cutting some smaller bits yep there we go getting tired but almost hang in there brain gonna have a nice relaxing moment of meditation and breathing after I'm finished with this Oh, 
And funnily enough, we actually missed a spot with the Sharpie, but we'll fix that shortly. It's because I, I didn't want to go over the signature quite right now, because, or at all, because it is not, it's not completely my art. This is a collab done by Raver and I. Check out his channel. We will be having a Halloween giveaway in the evening PST time. I'm not sure what exact time, but be right back. Quick stretch break. <sighs> okay. color in there. Thank you, Wendy. You are awesome. I'm probably gonna I'm gonna cover up this part but I'm gonna let him go over his signature probably in Sharpie that way you can see it to see the face. to unfold one of the tissue paper that eh, I can always get a new piece. I'm just stubborn. Still see it. 
I'm going to cut off the extra tissue paper. I think there was extra right there. Now we're gonna poke that down right there. That area is gonna need a little bit more glue. if I can cut off this area. Just a little bit more glue. This was probably my longest stream, unless I was really getting lost in the in the time because of having how much fun I was having. So thank you everyone for being here. I appreciate any Popeyes and Wendy. Thank you for your support and and being here for my streams. I really appreciate that. So once again, this is a collab. It was drawn by Raver, and then he asked me to paint it or color it in any way. There is a possibility that I may actually, with Sharpie, go on top of it. Um, I do like how it looks though, but we're going to let the glue dry. <laughs> I feel like if I draw on top of it with Sharpie, the tissue paper might start to um, crumble, and I don't... I. I'm not in the mood to do that, so you may leave as is, but thank you for being here. Stick around for more streams. Thank you for creating with me. If you made any crafts or art while watching my stream, feel free to Share it in the Discord or tag me on Instagram. I am accepting journal submissions until tomorrow, 10 a.m. PST. The journal prompt for this week is about effort and awesome. You can write it, take a picture of it, you can type it and email it to me, or you can DM me on Discord. So for what you are writing, you will be sharing five things you would like to put more effort into and five things you think you are awesome at. Self-awareness is really important and I hope to reflect with friends, socialize, and interact. Here is some information about how to send in your submissions. And remember the deadline for submissions is 10 a.m. PST tomorrow. I'm going to take a look of that for a minute or two. And right now my community is pretty small, but I'm excited to see where we go from here. So next time I stream will be on Sunday for Self-Awareness Sunday, and we will be playing with some string too. So stringy Sundays now. Get ready for some self-awareness and reflecting. Raver Jesus and I will be having a Halloween giveaway. You can dress up with us, tune into our live stream, and you'll have a chance to win a Plur package. The Plur package giveaway will be hosted on Raver Jesus' channel, so make sure you click the link in the chat and give him a follow. 
the Plur Package giveaway will not be on my channel or stream. On Halloween noon PST, I will be sharing some Halloween related words and I will be sharing how to sign them in American Sign Language. I will be doing that at noon PST on my channel Halloween and then I will also be doing it one more time again on Raver's channel. If you would like to tune into the evening stream where the Plur Package giveaway is taking place, you can follow me on Instagram. And then just a friendly reminder, all beanies receive $2 off this month. Help me clear my inventory and you will be helping me get an eye exam and new glasses. Thank you very much and have a great day. Thanks for being here. Much love. This was really, really fun. Thank you. I will see you on Self-Awareness Sunday. Have a great day.